What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Slackers, bringing you guys our next matchup in the Everyone Is Here tournament. So uh, if you're new and you haven't seen this before, I will well explain what this is. And if you want to participate, more than welcome to. Very simple stuff. We have 100 characters that are put into this tournament, and then each day on the channel, I upload one of the matchups from the tournament. Talk about the two characters that happen to be in the matchup for the day. I'll try to make a case why they might make sense for Smash DLC. And then in the comment section, we vote. Um, voting simple as well. I'm going to throw the rules up on screen here in just a second so you guys get a better understanding if you're new or if you want a refresher for whatever reason. Uh, rules are coming up in 3, 2, 1. All right, so as you can see by the top, the number one... I don't know if it's the number one rule, but a very important rule, though, is this tournament is just for fun. Don't take anything too seriously, and I, what I mean by that is we do have characters that are assist trophies, spirits, me costumes, characters that are disconfirmed, you know, in quotations there. Uh, it doesn't matter. If you like a character, regardless of their situation, feel free to drop a vote for them. It's all fine. It's all good. It's not going to hurt anybody. It's not going to do damage to anything. If you like a character, you can vote for him. Pretty simple. Uh, another important rule, though, you only get one vote. How do you vote? <laughs> That's also simple. Down in the comments, you type the character's name that you're voting for for the day. So today's matchup is Lara Croft taking on Master Chief. So this should be a fun matchup, but you vote for one of them in the comment section. You are allowed to vote for both by simply typing both, or if you just can't decide who you're voting for, type both. Why not? But, um, yeah, the rest of the rules, double elimination tournament, meaning a character will have to lose, t well, they will have to lose twice before being officially eliminated. Uh, once we get to the results to find out who wins and loses, if there happens to be a tie in the number of votes, flip a coin on camera, fairest way to break a tie, and each matchup voting-wise will only last one week. So today, Saturday, means we'll get the result to today's matchup next Saturday. Pretty simple stuff, so let's jump into the rest of the video. All right, so we're back for some results, and last week's matchup was a pretty good one. was a pretty good one. Uh, it was the matchup between Shantae, and she was taking on Chun-Li. And, uh, you know, the first, you know, part of tallying up these votes, uh, it, it, was, it was really cool to see because um, Chun-Li was out in front, actually, by just a couple votes. But Chun-Li was, like, slowly kind of just gaining votes over Shantae. You know, it was like... Four votes Chun-Li, three for Shantae, three Chun-Li, two Shantae. So she's, like, continuously kind of gaining. But then came the portion of the votes where it was just Shantae, Shantae, Shantae. Everyone just voted Shantae, so... Yeah, no one's going to be surprised, I don't think. Um, Shantae ended up winning this one. <laughs> 86 to 41. She continues her dominance. She's still she's still rolling through characters. I mean, look, Chun-Li is, like, an amazing character all around. She's very iconic in terms of gaming, so... It's a pretty good win for Shantae there, I'd, I'd have to say, at least on this small channel on YouTube, but hey, it's still a good win. Uh, Chun-Li is still in the tournament, don't worry, this is the winner's bracket. Chun-Li just loses, so she's in the loser bracket, she's still a part of the whole thing, but uh, if she gets one more loss now, then she's done. So, congrats to Shantae moving on where she will have to face... <sighs> I'm sorry, Kamek, but um, yeah, it's not looking good for you next matchup, but... Uh, yeah, so uh, Shantae Kamek, that's a matchup later down the line. We'll get there eventually. But speaking of matchups, let's get to the one today. Whew. Falcon punching. All right, phone. Uh, Lara Croft from the Tomb Raider series taking on Master Chief from the Halo series. Um, I'm going <laughs> to... I talk with my hands a lot. Somebody just commented that in a video. They're like, yeah, you talk with your hands a lot. Like, they're always moving. It's just uh, <laughs> that's just how I talk, I guess. I uh, try to be express uh, expressive. Uh, I, I don't know. What, okay, weird point. Let's get to uh, let's get to the matchup though. Let's start to Tomb Raider, Lara Croft. Just like Shantae, <laughs> Shant well, kind of like Shantae. Just like Chun Li, she is Lara Croft. Is an extremely iconic video game character. Yes, she does have ties in, you know, with the movies and whatever, but the the series came first gaming if you if you play games odds are you're gonna know who what the tomb raider series is and if you don't know what tomb raider series is there's a good chance at least you've heard of the name Lara croft whether it was the movies whether it was uh the video game whatever it was people know who this character is. she is like if you made like a 
a Hall of Fame or like a, how do I a Mount Rushmore for like female characters in gaming. Her face is up there. I mean, come on, right? She's iconic. She's recognizable. She'd be a fun character. Um, I mean, essentially though, every character could be a fun. You could turn any character into a fun character. To be fair, but she would be though. Uh, she's got all the credentials. She comes from uh, background. She's uh, the one thing I think that's kind of against her for at least the first fighter pass. You know why I don't think she'll be DLC character number five is she is uh, Tomb Raider's owned by Square, and they do already have their rep with uh, Hero. But that's not to say that she's ruled out by any means. We we know we're getting more DLC coming, more future characters for Smash Bros. And I think anybody's back on the table. And look, Lara Croft, uh, one thing I'd have to look into, uh, I don't know how well her games sell in Japan. Did, are they sold over in Japan, Tomb Raider series? I'd have to look that up. I'd, I'd have to assume they would be, but if they don't sell well, I don't think that bodes too well for her. Like, uh, I was reading this quote from uh, Sakurai that uh, pushed Dustin recently. I think he recently tweeted this out. And it said something along the lines of, uh, Sakurai really wants to push forward, you know, uh, and represent Japanese franchises in Smash Bros. as much as he can. Now, that's not to say that, you know, studios and, you know, Western studios aren't going to get some love. Because it, it, they have. They have. We've gotten some Western characters. Not a lot, but we've gotten a couple. But, I like, I think being big in Japan is going to really kind of factor into... You know, Sakurai's decision, uh, you know, who he picked off the list. If you don't know, Nintendo is the one that came up with the list of characters for uh, for Sakurai to choose from. And then Sakurai is the one that chose those characters off the list. So, was Laura Croft on there? Uh, potentially. Yeah, you never know. Uh, I, I do think, though, that, uh, again, for the first fighter pass, the first, you know, characters pack, one, two, three, four, five. I don't think one studio, I don't think one company will have multiple reps i think a lot of people felt still feel that way but the extra dlc is what kind of comes back into play for like every character and that's great for her like move set is very easy she's from like a survival game she's got bow and arrows she's got like all sorts of you know sort of survival-esque type i mean if people played uh, tomb raider right i'd have to assume right it's a big franchise uh but um like look she's she's got everything going for her uh Plus another female on the roster, which we still don't have a solo female character. I'm going to bring this up for every female that we announce or that uh, it happens to be in one of the matches. We don't have a solo female and it's starting to kind of, you know, catch on with a lot of people like, hey, we don't have this or we don't have that and we don't have this and blah, blah, blah. There's a lot that, uh, that could be added upon, but I mean, ultimately we'll see in the end, you know, eventually we'll see. But um, she'd be a fun character. But I do think a character that would be a bit more fun, in my opinion, because he's one of my more wanted characters. Master Chief from Halo. I mean, come on. Another very iconic uh, character in gaming, like Lara Croft is. Uh, he comes from such a great franchise. And again, same argument with Lara Croft here. Microsoft already has a rep in Banjo. So the odds that Master Chief gets into the fighter pass, you know, the first one, probably ain't going to happen. Could there be a, a huge surprise and we do get a second character from a, a company that's already repped? Potentially. Uh, again, though, going back to like what I was saying with Laura Croft, it's going to, I think, it. he has a much better chance for the, the bonus DLC characters that we're getting. Uh, look, it's... He's a very, very popular, very iconic, very recognizable character. Not that you have to be very recognizable. You have to be fun. And look, Master Chief would be fun. Uh, he's got a, and a great a great assortment, a great array of weapons and just moves at his disposal that you can come up with. Uh, you see him holding the energy sword right there. That's, you know, you could use that for a potential smash attack. He's got another, like, a, he's got a big old hammer, uh, the, the gravity hammer. He's got... Uh, uh, needlers, they're like uh, this like little, basically it shoots like these needles and if uh, a certain amount of them will like stick into the opponent, it will kind of have an explosion effect after a little bit. That would be a fun neutral attack. You know, you just fire like a bunch of bursts of needles and if you hit, happen to hit quite a few of them and they stick into the opponent, boom, nice little explosion, a little extra bonus damage to on top of that. Uh, you got uh, some fun abilities you can play with like a bubble shield, that could be the down special. Um, you'd have to, I 
like I, I don't know there, there's there's so much that you can really do I mean of course you're gonna have to talk about the weapons as well assault rifles or maybe shotguns or something to that effect most likely would be in uh, Master Chief's move set in his arsenal somewhere but I think that's the beauty of Halo as well they have so many sort of futuristic weapons such as the needler they do have like a brute shot uh it, it's, it's like a grenade launcher i guess we'll put it like that uh, just like you can get around like the realistic sort of weapons and there's so many different fun things you got the plasma rifle perfect throw that in there somewhere as well. i mean like there's a lot of different weapons not just guns but like melee weapons as well you can use for the move set so, I mean, you got a jetpack for up B recovery move. Very simple there. I mean, they're, like, Master Chief, like Lara Croft, has a ton of potential with the character. A lot. And I, it, j could you just imagine the announcement real quick, though? Master Chief is in Smash Bros. That's an internet-breaking thing right there. Now, I don't really think Sakurai is necessarily looking to do that i don't know if that was really on Ninja, uh, nintendo's agenda to be like all right we need to get one character that will absolutely break the gaming world i don't think they that was really their mindset but i don't know you never know they they came up with a specific list of characters again we don't know who was all on that list it'd be such a fun idea or a fun thing to actually see who was potentially on that list to help speculation a little bit but I don't know. Master Chief would be great nonetheless. Like, to me, that'd be a great way to end the entire DLC. Such an iconic character. Very well known around the world. Obviously, I said moveset works out well. I mean, um, Master Chief's my number three. three third most wanted character um, right now. He's one of the few remaining characters that I feel like I really want to see in Smash Bros. So, yeah, he's getting my vote in this one. Master Chief's got my vote. Pretty simple in this one. Let me know who you guys got down in the comments. Are you going to go with Lara Croft or Master Chief or both? Those are your options. But uh, that is going to be it for this one. So, tiny sneak peek for tomorrow. Or, actually, not tomorrow. For Monday. Monday, we have... Let's see. We got Jin Kazama from the Tekken series. First appearance for Jin, I think, in my tournament. So, we'll see how Jin plays out. But uh, he's taking on Rex and Pyra, so should be another fun matchup there. <laughs> fun. Um, but yeah, that's the matchup, and then we'll get the results for who? We'll get the results for Shadow, who is taking on Ribbon Girl. So another winner's bracket, all winner's bracket stuff uh, coming up next week. So nobody's being eliminated. So, I mean, I guess that's good in a way if you're a fan of the character. So anyway, that is going to be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, everybody.